it's not about documents, if it's not about Judge Kavanaugh's credentials, if it's not about a judicial record, what is this fight about? I believe this fight is nothing more and nothing less than an attempt by our Democratic colleagues to relitigate the 2016 presidential election. 2016 was a hard-fought election all around. And it was the first presidential election in 60 years where Americans went to the polls with a vacant seat on the Supreme Court, one that the next president would fill. Americans knew who had been in that seat, the late Justice Antonin Scalia, one of the greatest jurists ever to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court. And it was the first time since President Dwight D. Eisenhower's re-election campaign that a Supreme Court seat was directly on the ballot. Both candidates knew the importance of the vacant Supreme Court seat, and it was a major issue of contention in the presidential election. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton were both clear about what kind of justices and judges they would appoint. During all three presidential debates, both candidates were asked what qualities were most important to them when selecting a Supreme Court justice. Secretary Clinton's answer was clear. She wanted a Supreme Court justice who would be a liberal progressive willing to rewrite the U.S. Constitution, willing to, to impose liberal policy agendas that she could not get through the democratic process, that the Congress of the United States would not adopt, but that, she hoped, five unelected lawyers would force on the American people. That's what Hillary Clinton promised for her judicial nominees. Then candidate Donald Trump gave a very different answer. He said he was looking to appoint judges in the mold of Justice Scalia. He said he wanted to appoint judges who would interpret the Constitution based on its original public meaning, who would interpret the statutes according to the text, and who would uphold the rule of law and treat parties fairly, regardless of who they are or where they come from. Then candidate Donald Trump also did something that no presidential candidate has done before. He published a list of nominees that he would choose from when filling Justice Scalia's seat, providing unprecedented transparency to the American people. All of this was laid before the American people as they went to the polls on November 8, 2016. And the American people made a choice that night. Now, my Democratic colleagues are not happy with the choice the American people made. But as President Obama famously said, elections have consequences. Because the American people had the chance to vote a national re referendum on the direction of the Supreme Court, I've said a number of times that Justice Gorsuch's nomination and Judge Kavanaugh's nomination have almost a, a super legitimacy in that they were ratified, they were decided by the American people in a direct vote in 2016. And so the Democratic obstruction today is all about trying to reverse that election. They're unhappy with the choice the American people want. And there's a reason that the American people want strong constitutionalists on the U.S. US Supreme Court. Most Americans, and I know the overwhelming majority of Texans, want judges who will follow the law and will not impose their policy preferences on the rest of us and who will be faithful to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Justices who will uphold fundamental liberties like free speech, like religious liberty, like the Second Amendment. That's what this election was about. And if you look at each of these, let's take free speech. It's worth noting that in 2014, every Democratic member of this committee voted to amend the United States Constitution to repeal the free speech provisions of the First Amendment. And sadly, every Democrat in the Senate agreed with that position, voting to give Congress unprecedented power to regulate political speech. It was a sad day for this institution. Years earlier, Ted Kennedy, the great liberal lion, had opposed a very similar effort. And Ted Kennedy had said, we haven't amended the Bill of Rights in over 200 years. Now is no time to start. Ted Kennedy was right then, and not a single Democrat in the U.S. Senate had the courage to agree with Ted Kennedy and support free speech. Indeed, they voted party line to repeal the free speech provisions of the First Amendment. That is radical, that is extreme, and it's part of the reason the American people voted for a president who would put justices on the court who will protect our free speech. How about religious liberty? Religious liberty is another fundamental protection that the Democrats in the Senate have gotten extreme and radical on. 
Indeed, our Democratic colleagues want justices who will rubber stamp efforts like the Obama administration's efforts litigating against the little sisters of the poor litigating against Catholic nuns trying to force them to pay for abortion-inducing drugs and others. That is a radical and extreme proposition. And to show just, just how dramatic Senate Democrats have gotten, every single Senate Democrat just a few years ago voted to gut the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, legislation that passed Congress with overwhelming bipartisan support in 1993, was signed into law by Bill Clinton, and yet, two decades later, the Democratic Party has determined that religious freedom is inconvenient for their policy and political objectives. They want justices that will further that assault on religious liberty. And finally, let's take the Second Amendment. In the presidential debates, Hillary Clinton explicitly promised to nominate justices who would overturn Heller versus District of Columbia. Heller is the landmark decision issued by Justice Scalia, likely the most significant decision of his entire tenure on the bench, and it upheld the individual right to keep and bear arms. Now, Hillary Clinton was quite explicit. She wanted judges who would vote to overturn Heller, and indeed a number of our Democratic colleagues, that's what, that's what they want as well. Overturning Heller, I believe, would be a truly radical proposition. To understand why, you have to understand what the four dissenters said in Heller. The four dissenters in Heller said that the Second Amendment protects no individual right to keep and bear arms whatsoever, that it protects merely a collective right of the militia. The consequence of that radical proposition would mean that Congress could pass a law making it a felony, a criminal offense for any American to own any firearm. And neither you nor I nor any American would have any individual right whatsoever under the Second Amendment. It would effectively erase the Second Amendment from the Bill of Rights. That is a breathtakingly extreme proposition. It is what Hillary Clinton promised her justices would do. And at the end of the day, it's what this fight is about. We know that every Democratic member of this committee is going to vote no. We don't have to speculate. Every single one of them is publicly announced. They're voting no. Doesn't depend on what they read in documents. Doesn't depend on what Judge Kavanaugh says at this hearing. They've announced ahead of time. They are voting no, and most of the Democrats in the Senate have announced that in the full Senate. But everyone should understand, Judge Kavanaugh has handed over more documents than any nominee more than the last five combined, Republican and Democratic nominees, it's not about documents, it's not about qualification, it's not about record. What it is about is politics. It is about Democratic senators trying to relitigate the 2016 election and, just as importantly, working to begin litigating the 2020 presidential election. But we had an opportunity for the American people to speak. They did. They voted in 2016, and they wanted judges and justices who will be faithful to the Constitution. That's why I'm confident at the end of what Shakespeare would describe as a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing, I am confident that Judge Kavanaugh will become Justice Kavanaugh and will be confirmed to the United States Supreme Court.